Welcome to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show, created and hosted by Scott Knudsen, to explore the crossroads of horses and business. Now here's your host, Scott Knudsen. Hi, and welcome to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. I'm your host, Scott Knudsen. Today we have a special show. It's going to be a quicker show than normal, uh, but you met this guy before and just thought it'd be fun to jump on and do this deal. Um, Tyler Kejack is on the show. He is the owner and founder of TK Pro Rodeo. He's also a competitor in the Ultimate Cowboy Challenge. Tyler, thanks for jumping on. You bet. Thanks for having me again, Scott. We always have a good time. Absolutely, man. I love taking everybody down the road for sure. Last time we saw each other was in Houston at uh, Clay Walker's Band Against MS. and That's right. It was it was so surreal for me. You know, we met each other. We've known each other like this, you know, and there you are walking in the room and everything kind of messed up for a minute, you know. Yeah. And, uh, like how in the world did you get to South Texas? But it worked out. It was fun. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome deal that was. Yeah, and yeah. Clay Walker does so – just a great show, but he's even a better man, you know. Oh, and yeah. what he did, all the money that was raised for MS that night, it was wonderful. Yeah, it's cool seeing people like that and their, and their just kind of day-to-day uh, environment, the way he talked to everybody. And, and hearing that music in person was pretty cool too. So. Oh, it was awesome, man. It really was. And it was good to see you in person as well. So let's talk a little bit. So, so Tyler's been on the show before, but let's just for maybe someone that hadn't seen, seen that show, let's talk about how you started TK Pro Rodeo. Uh, you know, started it uh, just out of necessity, you know, survival. Uh, you know, it, we had the... <laughs> We had the goat rope ends and turned them into team rope ends and, you know, had one rodeo that turned to five. And this year we were fortunate enough to have 47 rodeos. So it's crazy how it how it's all working out. That's amazing, man. I'm so proud for you and your family. And Thanks. and uh, let's tell everybody. So as we're speaking, they might want to follow you, too. So how do they follow you? On uh, Facebook social, and Instagram. Social media, obviously, uh, you know, Tyler Keyjack, uh, TK Pro Rodeo. Uh, either Facebook or Instagram, so pretty pretty simple there, and uh, love to have you guys follow along with our journey there. That's awesome, man. It's a great follow. We follow you as well, and and uh, you know it's it's great for the industry. I love the the family part of it. It's good for the industry, and and uh, appreciate what you do for sure. So, how do you go from one goat rope into forty seven week uh, rodeos? You know. Everybody always, you know, says they're so proud and stuff, and that's so cool that I did that. But I definitely couldn't have done it without great partners and, and endorsements that that I just kind of stumbled upon, uh, and, and people that are, you know, a lot bigger in the industry and more successful than I was at the time, taking me under their wing. Uh, you know, it just I just feel like everything happens for a reason. You know, I was in the right place at the right time, and. I mean, we started the rodeo company. We didn't even have any livestock. You know, I was basically just a promoter, uh, and I subcontracted everything. And then now, you know, we we own or manage a little over 600 acres. Uh, you know, we own all of our bucking horses and bulls, steers, calves. You know, it's we've got two semis. Uh, you know, and, and multiple one-ton rigs that we send out. I just I never uh, never thought that it would happen this fast. Yeah, well, it's a testament. Plus, there's a lot of hard work and sacrifice that goes into it. Yeah. Definitely. Um, Definitely. And, I, I, you know, I think that's ever entrepreneur. You know, everything that is created or built is because there was a problem and someone's trying to fix it. And you have yours and we all have our own. But um, by doing it at that level, it it's so for so long, you know, now it's it's been a few years, you know, and it just keeps getting better and better. Let's talk about TK Pro Rodeo and everything you do, because I, I know if they go on the website, they can see events, actual rodeos. You can bring the participants. You can get local ones. So many yeah. different ways to hire TK Pro Rodeo. Yeah, so we're, uh, you know, we're completely turnkey. Uh, we're kind of one of a kind. Uh, we'll even help with the ticket sales and stuff uh, and the marketing side of things. We enjoy that. But I own a, a fully portable rodeo arena that, that's on a, a semi-trailer. And so you don't even need a rodeo arena to hire us to do a rodeo. We can we can do a rodeo anywhere with or without an arena. Um, you know, all the contestants, livestock, personnel. You know, we've got an awesome staff of, of people that work with us. And, uh, you know, we can we can literally have a rodeo anywhere. That's, yeah, that's so awesome. Um, corporate events, you know, to, to yeah. actual road fairs, county fairs. I mean, that's there. 
That's awesome, man. That's so good. I love that creative side of your mind that works on the business side to help give someone a chance to put on a rodeo that might not even have an arena. You know, so yeah. you're taking all the no's off the table. You got a way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's love been that. the biggest. And, and a little bit earlier, you talked about the partners. Let's talk about some of your partners. Yeah. So right off the top, kind of our presenting sponsor uh, this year is Fort Worth Stockyards Whiskey and Wine. Uh, you know, that George Courtney and his wife, Jolene, they've been outstanding. They're really diving in head first into our industry. And, you know, they, they, great people and they're wanting the the yeah. western way of life to to follow in you know they you know they're the main sponsor uh the main wine sponsor for the national finals rodeo this year so they're they're really trying to make a big splash and i think they're doing a good job of it um my main food sponsor is taco casa i love mexican food and they've been awesome mm. uh of course record rack and then our main like rodeo sponsor is Total Feeds. You know, I I live by the stuff. I, that's all I feed my bucking horses, uh, and they all look really good on it. Uh, they're all fat, slicked off. Uh, they they love it. So those are those are kind of the main ones. Mm-hmm. That that's awesome. I'll tell you what though. Everyone you said, I know the people involved, and they're all just checkmark kind of people. They're just wonderful people. And that's what makes me so proud to be in our industry. You know, I'm just humbled every day to get up and saddle a horse or do what I do. And But it's the people, you know. It's animals for sure. But everybody you mentioned is just top quality people. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that that has to do with who you, who you surround yourself with. And I, I always try to put myself around people like that. And I think that's got a lot to do with our success too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Dr. Anderson and Jody and George and his wife just – top notch oh top yeah notch. for sure well let's talk ultimate cowboy showdown so this is your second time to to um you know to do this how yeah. is it different how is it different than the first time well i think uh like from the mentality side of things it's got to be different for everybody uh you know everybody's been there once kind of you know got their bearings about themselves got a taste of it and decided, hey, what I did this first time didn't work, so I'm gonna readjust and, and go at it a different way. And I also think everybody kind of has the first time jitters out of the way, you know? So everybody is, is really playing for keeps and pushing harder this year. And then from like a physical side, you know, I, I don't know that you can ever prepare to be away from your family and, you know, for 30 days and be put through the strenuous TV production side of things, but uh, everybody, you know, it wasn't as much of a surprise uh, the second time around as it was the first time around, you know. Right, right. So how, how do you prepare? Do you, I mean, you know, doing living the cowboy lifestyle, you know, it's, it's really physical and it's changing so much. And, yeah. you know, it, I always say Tiger Woods did a lot for our industry because when he was playing golf, he was always the most fit. He outdrove everybody else and everybody else got fit. Yeah. Now, don't you see yeah. that in rodeo and our Western culture? Everybody's st- trying to stay in shape. Yeah, yeah. From the where I seen it first trickle down was like in the PBR. You know, those those guys yeah. from Brazil they came over and they treated it like a job. You know, it wasn't. You know, and it wasn't long before everybody kind of followed suit. You know, so. Right. Um, but for the ultimate cowboy. I, you know, I, I didn't even think that I was going to go back. You know, the opportunity presented itself, and I had so much going on at the time that I just didn't think that I was going to, you know, be able to squeak away. Uh, I hadn't even picked up a rope in probably, I don't know, seven, eight months before I went on the show. And I just sold my good heel horse because I hadn't rode him in seven or eight months. So I sold my good heel horse. All I had was a three-year-old colt that, you know, I doctored some calves on here and there, but... Uh, I mean, I just, I didn't feel very prepared at all, but again, <laughs> you know, just the day-to-day operations of a ranch ought to keep you somewhat tuned up, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. What about the mentality? Um, you know, did you go in a different way? Like, um, yeah. you know, who knows what in the heck's going to happen, but I mean, you know, I know whenever you're going to ride that horse the second time, you always have a little bit different mindset. Did you approach a little bit different mentally as well? Yeah. Yeah, that first time that I went in there, I 
and I don't think that it was a mistake necessarily, but I went in there and I, I really strategized and played the game and, and tried to outwit a lot of people and it worked uh, well, but that's just not really how I do things in my day-to-day business. And so it was almost like I was playing a part the whole time I was there. And this wow. time I said, if I ever go back, I'm just going to treat it like my day-to-day business and I'm just going to be straightforward and direct and you know, I'm not going to be everybody's favorite with that approach, but you know, I, I won't feel like I'm playing no games that way, you know? And, uh, right. you know, tonight is episode five. There's, there's 10 episodes and, uh, so far it's working good, you know? Heck yeah. That's awesome, man. You know, I think just being true to yourself, you know, you're already a cowboy. I mean, you just do what you do and yeah, this way they get it on tape, you know? And that's right. Well, I, you know, but I think, I think for our industry, I think these kind of shows are so great because it really shows what we get to do every day. Oh, yeah. You know, I, all publicity is good publicity. A lot of the stuff that happens on that show, no, it's not exactly what we would do in, in day-to-day cowboy life. But I've had so many people. I mean, it, it really is crazy going out in public after the show because – a lot of the places that we go are Western related, obviously. And I mean, you just get recognized by so many people and people come up and talk to you. And the the coolest part is when the parents start talking to you and they say like, Hey, our kids, we wanted them to rodeo and rope and be a cowboy, but they never took interest in it until watching you on the show or what, you know, watching the show. And I mean, that's so cool to see that, you know, young kids are inspired by it and, you know, it excites them and makes them want to be a cowboy, you know, because we are, I don't think we're a dying breed. I think the Western industry in a whole is in a good place uh, and getting better all the time. But it doesn't mean that we need to neglect the the youngins, you know, that we got to get them interested and involved. So well said, man, you know, and and I'm so glad that's happening for you and so many others, you know, on the show, because, you know, I mean, what better role models? I know nobody really wants to be a role model, but to get to see people on TV that get up, they live life the right way. They work hard. That's what you want the kids to see. And, you know, I agree with you. I don't think it's a dying breed at all. I think it's a growing breed and a changing breed. I mean, I don't train horses the same as I did a few years ago. I mean, it, sure. it evolves. But we need right. that newer generation coming in to replace us, you know. Right. And uh, they sure are. They sure are. So what's next for you? Well, we uh – we're steady booking and bidding rodeos for 2024 and 2025 and kind of coming together with some Coliseum events that we're going to, you know, start up from the ground up. You know, there's no committee or anything involved. We're going to try to take on some, some big concrete buildings and take our show to the big cities. Uh, that's kind of the, the next big move and, uh, you know, just keep plugging away, keep feeding cattle, waking up, saddling a horse, you know, that's good living, man. That's good living. Well, hey, I appreciate you jumping on, and and I like this format. You know, it's really fun. It's kind of like the viewer gets to go down the road with you and talk cowboy stuff. You know, right? Well, I, I'm glad that I got to to give you a talk from my office today. That's it, brother. Well, Tyler, I appreciate everything. Good luck um, with everything with Ultimate Cowboy Showdown, and appreciate you jumping on. And thanks for representing the industry so great. You bet. Thanks for having me, Scott. Thank you to all the great sponsors of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. If you or your business is interested in being a sponsor of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show, please call our office at 830-992-1786 or visit our website, cowboyentrepreneur.com.